Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. So it looked like Warner Brothers is talking to Steve Capel Jr., famously known for directing the last Transformers movie. And he also directed Creed 2. So he is in final negotiations to direct the long-awaited sequel to I Am Legend, in which Will Smith will return as Dr. Robert Neville. Now, a lot of people are going to ask that question. Well, we saw what happened in the first I Am Legend. Now, I'll get to that in, in a minute. I'll speak on that in a minute. But it appears that Warner Brothers have given this film the green light. They have apparently a budget, which this movie is going to cost well over $200 million to make unless some things happen, unless they can you know, uh, negotiate salaries and all that kind of stuff. But this movie's gonna cost this movie's gonna cost over two hundred million dollars to make. That that's without a shadow of a doubt. These type of films are very expensive to make, you know. So it's gonna cost a lot of money to make make this film, and we all know how David Glass Golf is a uh, penny pincher when it comes to these type of situations. Look what's going on with the NBA and you know um, TNT. But nevertheless, that's another video for probably later on today. I'll continue to talk about that. But with that being said, all things are a go for the long awaited sequel. I have to say this. Uh, I Am Legend could have been a franchise to begin with if they wouldn't have had the ending that it had. Um, one thing that bothered me and bothered a lot of people when we had discussions about the movie, when it came out, people hated the ending. I'm glad that they had an alternate ending that I would eventually see, which showed me they should have went with the alternate ending, which was the best ending, because it was no reason to kill his character off. It wasn't like the character was just evil, you know, like, you know, was trying to destroy the world and, and intentionally, um, it just bothered me. And the funny thing is, I only saw that movie once. I, I'm serious. I only saw I Am Legend once. And that ending just bothered me. But it was kind of funny. Then a lot of people, you know, started to talk about the ending. Keep in mind, you know, um, YouTube was in its early stages when that movie came out. So, you know, years later when people started breaking that movie down, when they started talking about movies that had a terrible ending that was just one of them and i'm glad that they're going to go with the alternate ending probably that's how the movie gonna begin they're gonna go with that alternate ending and explain uh how he survived because i just thought it was just utterly stupid for you know francis lawrence to kill that character off it was a dumb ending it was stupid and it was anticlimactic also where the dude takes a grenade and blows himself. I was like, man, come on, man. But I'm glad that they're making up for <laughs> that travesty of the ending that it had. Um, the premise of the movie has been kind of secretive. You know, some people are saying that they're going to age the character 20 years. Now, keep in mind, um, the Robert Neville character was supposed to be now, Will Smith, when he made this movie, Will Smith was like in his like in his late 30s. You know, Will Smith is like 50, 55 now, 54, 55. So, you know, his they made his character a little bit older. So I don't know how they're going to pull this up. Are they going to immediately pick up or are they going to age his character like 20 something years? Now, who Michael B. Jordan is going to play in the movie uh, remains a mystery. Maybe he'll play Will Smith, um, estranged and long lost son, even though they indicated that, you know, the character got kill killed along with the mother. But, you know, this is Hollywood. They could, <laughs> That's why they have writers. <laughs> so, But nevertheless... <laughs> I'm very interested in seeing seeing this film. Um, I'm excited about this film because I think uh, Warner Brothers screwed that film up with that ending. And if I was the producers of the film and 
you know, Warner Brothers. I don't know who was Warner, running Warner Brothers at the time. I would have said, you're going to use the other ending. But nevertheless, uh, we got a sequel. Uh, the movie has been greenlit. So when it's going to start principal photography, uh, probably soon. But from what I was told that they're going to try to get filming underway later on this year. So there you have it. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.